This time we're going to look at how to do multivariable linearization. So I'm going to explain a little more background on how we do that. And you should have watched the previous video. And this time we're going to do the same steps, but we're going to look at multivariable. So here's an example I drew. And I'll say that I'm very bad at drawing. So this is the best I could do. Um, so this is a supposed to be a surface on a three-dimensional. So we have um, our two variables. We added u as a variable. We have y. And then we have a function that takes both of those variables as an input and then gives an output. And I've just drawn an example surface. And so we're going to try to talk about how we would linearize this system. Well, first, we have to find the equilibrium points, same as last time. But this time, we usually u is usually the input. We almost always say that the input, so we'll call it ue, the equilibrium point, is 0. If, if a problem is stated as a different point, then you would implement it with that equilibrium point. But we're always, almost always going to use u, ue is 0. Okay. So what does that mean? On our graph, that means that the u is 0. So we're kind of on this axis. So it's kind of like a plane going through the uh, x and I guess this would be y axis here. But um, so a plane there. Okay, so that's, but that's multiple points. So if we were to draw kind of the surface of that, there's lots of points for where u is equal to 0. Well, then we have to find the equilibrium point where this function is actually equal to 0. So u of e, or sorry, y of e is where f of y of e and u of e is equal to 0. So what that means is that where is this equal to 0? Well, now we see that it's just one point. So at this point right here, and so this would be um, u, well, we'll say y, y of e and u of e. I guess I'm not being consistent with axes, we'll call it, let's put u of e first. Okay, so u of e, y of e. So that's our point there. And so we first we have to find that point. And then again, we want to center our axes around this point, but this time we're in multiple dimensions. So we'll have to not just do y, but y and u. So we'll redefine both. So y is going to be equal to the equilibrium point plus delta y. And then u will be equilibrium point plus delta u. So we're redefining our variables with delta y and delta u. OK? And so essentially, we're changing our axes to be right on on that. So this would be our new uh, delta y. And then this way would also be delta u. But since we choose y e to be 0, they're essentially the same. OK, so now we've established our new coordinates. And now we need to linearize these components. This was the Taylor expansion for just one dimension. Now we have two. So what, essentially what we have to do, we have to change this to partial and then evaluate it not just at one variable, but at both variables. So in this case, we do this for y and for u. And what this does in the graph is essentially we're looking at first in the y, so approximating the line here, and then also in u. Sorry, that u and then also in y. So kind of approximating here to make an approximate surface. So let's take an example. We're going to do a multivariable example using, we'll write over here, y dot derivative of y equals derivative of u, our input, and plus uy plus y. So we see immediately that this is a nonlinear function. We have some uis in here, and we need to linearize this system around the equilibrium point. So first, what we can do is find the equilibrium point. So let's do this over here. We make our variable ue, make u equal, equal to 0. 
and then any higher order, so derivatives, will also be zero. So zero equals zero plus u e y e plus y e. We know that y e is, sorry, u e is zero. So we make that zero. And then we see that, well, y e, the equilibrium point, is simply equal to zero. This is a relatively easy function to solve for. So now we know our equilibrium points for both u and y and we linearize around them. This is our equation. We're gonna break it down into different components. And I'm actually gonna move the u onto the left side and then we'll do the left and the right hand side separately. So we'll say y dot minus u dot. And then we'll put a big equals over here. u y plus y. The reason I did this is because these are already linear functions and we can simply replace these equations with y and u and we will get the linearized version of these functions. So if we do that, d dt, instead of y, now we have y e plus delta y. And then here, minus d dt of u e plus delta u. Again, these are constants, y e and u e, so the derivative is zero, and we're left with just the derivative of our delta y and our delta u. So we'll put delta u dot, sorry, y minus delta u dot. And that's on the left side of the equation. Oh, let's look at the right side again. We're gonna use the Taylor expansion here and we're gonna do it in multivariable, so it's a little bit different, but the same basic equation. So first, let's, just for clarity, call this, this will be our f of u, y. Okay, so we're defining that's our function that we're going to linearize using the Taylor series expansion. So first, we have to look at how it acts at equilibrium. So f of u e y e, right? And then we will do this term, but because we have two variables, we have to do a partial. So we take the partial of f and we'll evaluate it at u e and y e over dt. And then we multiply it by it would be y minus y e. Oh gosh, partial. Do this again. So partial, we're gonna do y, and then this will be delta y here. Okay, so that's one dimension. And then we have to also do the other dimension. So partial, this time partial in terms of u, f of u e, y e, and then delta u. These would both be divided by one factorial, which is one, so we are left with just this expression. Okay, so now we fill everything in. We know that this, we've chosen y e to make sure that this is zero, so this is, it will always be zero. And then now we have to look back at our equation here that we define as f of u y. And then we just take the partial in terms of y. So the partial here would be just u. And we're evaluating at u e and y e, so u e. And then the partial of y here is 1. And then multiply that by delta y. And then here again, now we'll take the partial in terms of u. This is 0. And the partial here would be just y. So evaluate it at y e. Multiply that by delta u. Here we luck out because u e is zero, right? So this will be zero. And y e is also zero. So this will also go to zero. So what we're left with, oh my gosh, is we're left with zero plus zero plus one delta y. 
and that will be equal to this side of the equation. So delta y dot minus delta u dot, and that would be our linearized expression for this function. Again, for a system, you could now take the Laplace transform and solve for the transfer function, but I think you all know how to do that, so I'll leave it at this.